Hey folks, Brian here. Today I am printing out a design I found on Thingiverse for an automatic transmission model. It's by Emmett. Not me. I just printed out the pieces and followed the instructions and did my best. So, here we go. Here are the first set of prints that I did. Um, this is the front loose or the back loose. And it could be switched around. And I printed a brace with each of them. And to prep these, the braces have these triangular levers that move back and forth. And when you print them, they're attached. So what I used is this knife to really score the edges of the joints. And I really started cutting into them slowly and then I used this pliers with tissue paper uh, to protect the pieces and I really pulled and pulled and until they finally popped and broke free. I'm sure there's a better way to do it but eventually I got them to break free like that. And for the front loose and the back loose um, parts of the stands, for this part here I used this sort of triangular file from Harbor Freight and just grinded out these parts until the shaft from a separate print went through smoothly. And again, with these triangular levers that move freely, were attached firmly. And again, I used the knife to score the edges and pliers to really yank and yank until uh, they broke free. And for these joints where all the pieces meet, didn't have to do anything. I did have the filament settings wrong for a long time. Um, but I set them correctly to the filament size written on the spool. And everything uh, snaps in. Of course I put this together, these specific pieces, many times so they aren't tight anymore. But that's the stand. Next, I wanted to put all the gears together in a way that I could take it apart easily if I needed to reprint something or file something down. So I took the STL file for the pin, imported it into Tinkercad, I made it extra long, and then I cut off the tabs. That way I could easily put the pins and the gears together and take out the pins if I wanted to. So in the upper right, you can see the design that I'll put in the description, and you can use it to print out some test pins. Next I started putting the gears together into the carrier. It's hard to explain, but I just followed the instructions that were on the Thingiverse page. And hopefully I'm doing it right here. But check out the Thingiverse page for a better description. Continuing on, we're putting more of the gears together and the annulus, the carrier, all the types of gears. 
this part gets a little tough so I s speed it up a little bit again check out the instructions for a better description Here's the final assembly. I took the gears and I used the actual pins instead of the test pins, put it into the stand, drove the shaft through, and make sure the shaft can go back and forth easily. And then finally, uh, I put the handle together with the small pins, one here and one here, and that's about it. Uh, right now, I'm in the fourth gear slot with the brake in for the fourth and as you can see it's working mine's pretty rough though it's really hard to switch gears maybe there's a trick to it that's easier to move the shaft back and forth but uh, it's a nice desktop model looks cool all right thanks for watching see you later bye